Last season, we brought you the story of Maria. It's our first date. He's really cute. The 16-year-old girl who had been chatting online with a boy she thought was her age. The situation turned dangerous. It's Maria, right? When they meet in person and the boy is actually a grown man. Are you Brian? Time after time, we saw adults. Hey, mind your own business, please. Okay. No, I'm not going to mind my own I'll business. I'll let the police decide since she's a minor. And even teenagers. It's pretty creepy for you to lie about oh. being 16. Stand up to Brian as he tried to lure Maria out of the cafe. The moment the scenario aired, viewers went on Facebook and YouTube all asking the same question. What would happen if we flipped things around and had an older woman prey on a young boy? So we listened. And now we're back at Lulu's Cafe in West Nyack, New York. Our actors, Joe and Simone, will be using some of the very same language the actors used the first time. You're even better looking in person, though. Wow, you are even cuter in person. Will reactions be any different? You see an older woman trying to lure a young boy out of a cafe. What would you do? Joe. Yeah? It's me, Simone. Wait, you're Simone? Yeah, I'm Simone. You told me you're 16. Well, it's the internet. I mean, you told me you were 16. How old are you? I am 16. You lied to me. At the next table, these teenage girls squirm uncomfortably. What young guy wouldn't want to spend time with an older woman? Your no, friends I don't would think be right. so jealous. Hey, come on. I have experience, and there's so much that I can teach you. I'm going to get out. I'm going to go to the bathroom for a second, OK? And then we can go. As Simone steps away, the girls tell Joe to do the same. I can't go. That's... What should I do? No, they'd kill me if they even knew I was here. My friend dropped me off. You need to call your friend. Trust me. Call your friend, whoever dropped you off, yeah. or whoever's not going to get you in trouble. <laughs> Online. I don't think she's going to do anything. Like, okay, you're still not leaving with her. If you'd like to try, go for it, but we will be alerting the authorities. Joe goes back to his table, and Simone returns. You ready? Sorry it took so long. Come on, Scott. I don't think I should go. Uh, I'm Simone? not going to go. But Simone just won't take no for an answer. What do you mean, Joe? I've got alcohol. I I'm going to call my friends. Well, why are you going to call he'll, your friends? Pick I don't me up. But Joe, you asked me to come meet you here. Yeah, we but you had... weren't who I thought. And now these young girls yeah, had... jump in to help. Standing up to Simone. We're gonna hang out. Look, I'm gonna give you a, a poolside right, massage. No, well, okay. I mean, he came here to meet me. I, I know, but I, I got it. Thank you. Joe is old enough to make his own decisions. What's the problem? He's old enough to make his own decisions. Come on, man. It's cool. It's cool. Mm -hmm. You're driving me home. I'll take you anywhere you want. Of course, I'll drive no. you home. As they head out. The girls stand up. I'm gonna go. Time for us to step in. Hi, how are you? I'm John Quinones. Nice to meet you. When she took him out, what went through your mind? Oh my God, we have to stop that. I have known so many people that have put themselves in such bad situations that it's like I understand getting in trouble. I would rather get in trouble than go home with some 40-year-old woman that just walked in that was supposed to be 16. Those sisters aren't the only young adults who come to Joe's aid. These two notice Simone immediately. Joe? Simone? Yeah, it's me, Simone. They try to listen in. You know what? I'm going to go and freshen up for a second. I'll be right back, and then we'll go, OK? And once Simone leaves the table, In fact, she's got a plan for ditching okay, our female predator. My little brother's 16. I'm like, I wouldn't want him to run with someone like that. So, like, I'm just going to say that, like, you're friends with my brother. And, like, all right. All right. Hey, you ready to go? How's it going? Um, he's actually, like, really good friends with my little brother. So he's going to come over and hang out with us instead. What do you want to do, Joe? You want to come with me, don't you? I don't know. We were going to go swimming. It's, I have a pool at my house. It's fine. 
This is supposed to be our special date. Well, maybe uh, you guys can hang out another time because my brother is like really excited for him to come over there and see each other all summer. Well, that's really nice, but what do you want to do, Joe? Uh, I'm just going to hang here. That's what you want? You know, you ruined my date. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll be talking to you online, Joe. She's just a few years older than Joe, but she stood up to Simone. Thank you. No problem. Just... I, yeah, no problem. I'll take you home. We don't have to tell your parents. We wondered why. Weren't you a little intimidated by her? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> why do it? I would want somebody else to get involved if it was anybody I cared about. You just hear all the stories about kids who end up going, and you see all the people, and you're wondering, like, why didn't they say anything? And now our final customer of the day is seated. He watches the interaction between Simone and Joe. And the moment she steps away from the table, I can't. Do you need a ride? Yeah, but I, I might. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm completely cool. I work around the corner. I can't help overhearing this. Okay. Just nervous. Yeah. It's just freaky. Yeah. She lied to me. She told me she was 16. Look, I, I got, unfortunately, I heard the whole thing. What do you think about her? How old are you? 16. Okay, it's statutory. It doesn't matter what I think. Okay. So what should I tell her when she comes back? Uh, if you're smart, go to to get it. If you're curious, go with it. People do work. But why would somebody do that? Unhappy, lonely, desperate, weird. Yeah, I'm just really freaked out. It didn't quite work out the way you thought, huh? Yeah. Online can get really, really weird. And now Simone is back. Oh, you switched seats on me. Let's go. No. Really? You sure? I'm good. I think he can answer for himself. He's 16. I'm good. Joe. How many, how many times is he going to have to say no? You've really had an influence on Joe. Yes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank you. Save me. <laughs> Joe, listen. That woman is seriously crazy. OK? You did the right thing. No, sir. You did. What did you want to relate to him? Don't believe everything you see online. I thought, this kid is going to go home with some, you know, psycho barracuda, and I just can't sit here. But you did say, if you're curious, go for it. Well, you know. He's a whole human being. He's, you know, he can make up his own mind. I would have liked somebody like me to have my back when I was Joe's age. Did something happen? Yes, things happened, yeah. And I thought, not on my watch. I'm glad I saved you from a fate worse than death. <laughs>